Hello there. Is Theresa May really considering keeping the free movement of EU citizens to and from the UK in the event of a no-deal Brexit? A report has emerged saying that Home Office officials have discussed continuing the free movement of EU citizens between the EU and UK should there be a no-deal Brexit. It sounds almost perverse, doesn't it, that one of the central planks of Brexit, that of the UK regaining full control of its own borders after its exit from the EU, could be completely rejected by our manically remain establishment in the face of having reached no deal at all on anything with the EU. But that is exactly what Business Insider is saying. Theresa May's government is considering allowing the free movement for EU citizens at the UK border to continue if Britain leaves the EU without a deal according to confidential details of a Home Office meeting leaked to Business Insider. And the argument is that, in the face of a no-deal scenario, our border force will not be geared up for checking anyone, so they would basically just have to let everyone come and go as they please. This is based on the timings, in that it takes 45 seconds to check a European Economic Area citizen's passport, compared to an average of four minutes to check the passport of a non-EEA visitor. Among the options considered was a plan to allow no more checks at the border, according to written notes at the meeting sent to Business Insider, it said. This would entail the government accepting a higher risk of security to the country as well as the possibility of just having intelligence-led controls where certain individuals are targeted for checks rather than having blanket checks. Although a Home Office spokesperson is quoted as saying the free movement of people from the EU will end and that 100% checks will continue, the fact that these plans are being considered shows the true level of establishment intent to keep us in the EU by not really doing much to make Brexit happen. This is the one thing the government could have got right. We know the people of the UK want the borders properly monitored, so the process of putting the people and the infrastructure in place could have started on day one. But what they are trying to do now is convince the people of the UK that they will be less safe with controlled borders than they would be with the current situation that appears to be more free-for-all than a border. In fact, what these government officials are saying really is that they think that it is impossible to control the UK border, despite most of it being surrounded by water. Now, do you remember all that talk that even putting your cross in the leave box in the EU referendum would cause nationwide destitution and poor old George Osborne would be forced to hold an emergency budget within the month to try and keep the country functioning and our hospitals open in the weeks following a vote to leave? And then all those institutions from the IMF to the CBI to the US presidency all piled in telling us to vote remain or go immediately bust. I won't go through all the ghastly predictions we were forced to listen to. The point here is that the same old tactics are being deployed again. There must be an extremely well-thumbed Whitehall manual on it for a start. Anyway, the point is that another prediction of gloom and poverty has been published by the National Institute of Economic and Social Research, telling us that Theresa May's current checkers-based Brexit plan will cost us all £500 a year. But if we leave without a deal, it will all cost us £800 each. The output loss will amount to £500 per person per year over time compared with the soft Brexit scenario. The loss would be around £800 under a no-deal Brexit, said the report. Now I wonder if they use the tried but now untrusted economic models that every other doom-laden report has used. But those never came to fruition, did they? In fact, going back... 
The attempt to get the UK into the Euro was based on the fear-mongering that the pound could not survive on its own. And it all turned out to be poppycock, didn't it? So why any different this time? Other than the fact that they're trying to go for a second referendum or an extension to the Article 50 process. Finally, the Express reports that the hard line over Brexit taken by France is not shared by other EU member states. One EU diplomat who asked to remain anonymous told the Sun newspaper, Not every member state has the same position on everything, especially Brexit. There's one country that's very hard on the British, and that's France. France is a little bit isolated in its opinion. They're the toughest, but I don't know why, because the French have much more interest in Brexit than others. It has always seemed strange to me that Eurocrats expect and believe that the governments of each so-called sovereign and independent member state of the EU would tow the EU line even at the expense of the livelihoods of their own country's citizens. Those citizens have been watching the hardline tactics of the EU negotiators, so they will know who to blame if they start losing out, be in no doubt. So, please let us all know what you think by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.